Hey, good morning, everybody. <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about a somewhat confusing topic to a lot of people, and it's a perfect conversation for a chiropractor because a healthier gut translates to a healthier brain, and the brain runs the show, right? The, the most important part of the central nervous system. And that's probiotics, prebiotics, and symbiotics. And listen, they all have their place, and they're all really, really, really important. So probiotics, probiotics means for life. I just saw my buddy, uh, Dr. Kastowitz, sign in. What's up? Uh, probiotics are, or means for life. They are in your food. They could be in supplements. They could be in the air. They could be in the soil. They are uh, beneficial bacteria, virus, archaea, some yeast as well, that do can do a multitude of things. Some are transient, meaning they come through, you, you, you consume them or you breathe them in, they go through your system, they do what they need to do, the positive things they do, and leave your system. And other ones set up shop or uh, colonize in your gut or microbiome. Both are really, really, really important. Um, and they do a lot of things. They help digest your food. They help assimilate um, uh, certain vitamins and minerals. They create B vitamins. They create a short chain fatty acid called butyrate that helps heal and make a good environment for your enteric nervous system. They do so much. They boost your immunity. So is it important to consume some form of probiotic daily? Yes, I think so. Is it important to consume fermented foods like kefir and kombucha that are lower in sugar or uh, kimchi and natural sauerkrauts and pickles? a hundred percent on a daily and regular basis for sure so they're really 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 important and i can attest to our probiotic power blend it is a, a great um probiotic that we created 10 strains uh 25 billion cfus conforming units and if you have any questions please just uh send a message and we'll answer those questions now prebiotics are interesting and could potentially be even more important prebiotics are fibers that we don't digest. The beneficial critters in our stomach uh, and our digestive systems digest. And they're insoluble fibers primarily. If you eat a wide variety of vegetables, you will get a ton of prebiotics that help feed the probiotics or the beneficial bacteria. So they're the food for your microbiome. One of the greatest uh, tubers or vegetables that has a high amount of these prebiotics is Jerusalem artichokes or sun chokes. I actually grow them in my garden. I dehydrate them and I have them year round. But you could buy these uh, prebiotics as well. And the best and newest one that I found that has done wonders for me is Bulletproof's Inner Fuel. It is a fantastic product. Definitely, definitely check it out. Lastly, uh, symbiotic is more of a new term, and all that means is, is it's essentially a combination of probiotics, the beneficial bacteria and yeast, and the prebiotic fibers, the food for those uh, probiotics. <clears throat> and a lot of uh, probiotics have prebiotics in it, then, and hence they could be called symbiotic. And our, again, our probiotic blend has sun fiber in it, which is prebiotics. So there is a little bit of food. It helps It uh, it helps uh, feed those beneficial bacteria when you consume them. So it's a great, 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 great idea. So if you have any questions, uh, please send those questions over. Remember, books and books and volumes have been written on probiotics, prebiotics, and symbiotics. Uh, so this is a small little explanation of what they are. But if you're confused, again, please send me messages. I love to answer questions. Be awesome and never unawesome. And it's just about time for me to see some patients. Bye.